Okay, uh, for those of you listening on Lightline Fever, welcome back for those people watching on Triple M. Welcome. I'm here with uh, uh, Lexi and Michael from Steel Panther. First question, Australia. Uh, you were disappointed you didn't get there last time. What are you looking forward to? Uh, at first we were very disappointed, but then uh, we realized that we did actually a little extra time to finish our record balls out, so it gave us an opportunity to finish that, get it out on time. But the only bummer is we didn't get to play with Van Halen, which is kind of a Kind of a bummer, right? Because yeah. you're looking forward to seeing Daily Raw. Well, yeah, yeah kind of. And um, and plus, you know what I, you know, because it's, I wanted to go down under. You know what I mean when I say down under? Like, can I say vagina? You can. Can I say fuck? You can. Cool. I want to fuck girls in their vaginas down under. <laughs> down you know under. what? I want to I root some bitches. <laughs> like, just fucking lay some root, you know? What's the first thing you got to I got to get my roots done, by the way. <laughs> yeah, you sure do. I, gotta I can root your, your, root your roots. I'll root your roots. What is, I mean, I need to get them highlighted. <laughs> if I was from Cleveland and I wanted to say I want to root some girls in Australia, I would say I want to root some girls. <laughs> root. Mm-hmm. Root. So tell me, um, the first thing you do when you land in Oz, what's the first thing you're going to do? i got to get my shit, get it off, just make sure I don't forget anything on the plane. Yeah, right. sometimes I have an iPad now and I put it in the back seat pocket and I have to make sure I remember to get it. <laughs> it's, it's expensive, it's an iPad 2 and it holds 64 gigs of uh, fucking heavy metal. I don't make sure I get all my music because I have like fucking Striper, I have fucking uh, Steelheart, I have fucking TNT, I got like a wide range of metal, that Bullet Boys, shit that like normal bands, singers of bands probably don't have in their, their high bands. Cool. Yeah. Um, you just come back from England um, and before the tour there was some stuff uh, Tommy Lee said he didn't understand Steel Panther. He, d- he does now. <laughs> it's weird because like he didn't at first and I get it because it's hard. When you're on the road you're kind of sheltered. But you know, once he jammed with us, he realized, fuck, this band is amazing. I mean, I was hanging out in his dress room, we were fucking hanging out with some bitches, and he's like, yeah, dude, and I'm like, yeah, bro, and we just kind of brought it out with the ass and stuff, and that you know, was cool. Okay, so the first... Uh... Okay, we're back uh, with Lexi and Michael from Steel Panther, and we're at the House of Blues. Now, <laughs> now um, so what happened on the tour? Like, uh, was there any any discussions with Motley Crue? Did you have a chat with them? Yeah, I actually had a chat with each member of the band. I went and knocked. Hey, it's Michael Starr from Steel Panther. Can I come in? And I went in the Vince's dress room, and he was hanging out with these two strippers, and we like hung out. And I went back, and I uh, I got him a CD, of balls out, and went signed. We all signed it for him to Vince, personalized it to him, and gave it to him. Yeah. And he was like, "Thanks, man," because he like, you know, he doesn't want to bother anybody, so he just stays in his room. Mm. So, you know, we went and knocked on his door, it was cool. I went and hung out with Nikki Six for a while, we exchanged emails, and he taught me some business stuff about Live Nation and what not to do, and like he told me, like, beware of certain stuff. Like, he's actually really helpful. And he gave me some hair tips, too, as well, <laughs> because I'm kind of thinning a little bit, and so is he, so he, like, showed me how to hide your gut, like, on stage, which is pretty cool, you know? It's not, I mean, that's great yeah. stuff. When you get older, it's hard, you know, you, you like to eat, you know, except for Lexi, he throws his food up. <laughs> But I got to go on, it was really cool because Tommy, he knows that I like roller coasters, so he let me go on his roller coaster. It's a roller coaster that's attached to his drums. You've never seen anything like it. It's really cool, and he does a drum solo and it flips around. I think everybody saw it when he was on tour. Like, they toured with that thing all. You know what I'm, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, no, dude, did you, did you like do it during sound check or something? Or when did you, you did it go? before. I did it right, right, I did it right before they took it down. So, mm-hmm. after the, after we Well, did, here's what he did. He, uh, he did it before Motley Crue got there. Hmm. So, because, no, they took down some of the stuff that was obstructing it. That's what you call the thing we yeah. tearing down. And then he got on it, and one of the road crew gave him a ride on it. Tommy, yeah, Tommy, I, didn't, I couldn't go all the way, because it was, they were half, take, mm-hmm. taking it down. But I got to do it. I got to do a little bit of it. You guys, are like, especially in England, it must have surprised you how big you are, like everyone got there early and stuff. You have to change the way you do things. Like, you basically... You know, it's almost been a cottage industry since you started with you know, the online aspect and interviews like this, as we've seen stuffing around with the shitty little cameras. What, what's, I mean, do you have to sort of pull back a little bit now because you are getting big and the demand's getting uh, bigger? Well, it's kind of like when you're fucking a chick, like you're fucking her or you're rooting her, or you're part of their pussy, right? And you want to come and it's really hard to pull out. It's the same thing. Like, I don't want to pull out. Mm-hmm. We want to keep fucking playing gigs and fucking. Because it feels good to sperm in the vagina. <laughs> Fuck yeah. And you know, if you punch her in the stomach really hard when you're done, chances are it won't be a baby. I thought you had to wait a little bit for it, because they accept it. There's all that science stuff. That's where you, if you hit it right, like, just go, oh, sorry. Oh. You know, accidentally. It fucking, oh, probably. Yeah. 
So what's next? What's the plan? Um, don't n- the plan record? is never turn down pussy. Yeah, that's the plan. <laughs> and you know, if you turn down shows, you're turning down pussy mm-hmm. because sure. shows equal <laughs> pussy right. and vaginas, <laughs> right? And pussy equals <laughs> fun. You're very, he wants us to do a video, so I figured if he wants us to like, do a video for it. You're a very like serious band. What if someone put a, put together a band that was a parody of Steel Panther? Would that be cool? What's a what do you mean? Like someone who like a band that kind of made fun of Steel Panther. Whoa. What, what, what do you mean make fun of us? Well, I don't know. Like uh, their hair might be bigger, or their their pants that, might be brighter. I, that would be stupid. <laughs> Worry. That would never fly like a parody band. That's stupid. Yeah, why would they? I don't. I don't get it. Yeah, don't parody bands. I just don't get it. I don't get it either. I mean, it would be stupid. <laughs> would they stupid. have their own songs, or would they do? Would they be like what? What would they do then? Yeah, play covers. Yeah. What, what would a cover of a what would a parody of a Steel Panther song sound like? I, I know it's yeah. like new to me. I mean, <laughs> I, I mean, if someone yeah, were, I, I know there's a band that's a tribute to us. Hmm. They're called Surreal Panther. Surreal Panther. And they play all our stuff, and mm. that is extremely flattering. Mm. There's mm. like four of them now. Mm. And it's just that. Four guys? Well, there's four guys in that band, but there's four of the tribute bands. Oh, I there's didn't know Iron, that. Iron Python. I didn't know that. There's Surreal Panther. There's also, uh, is it like. Do they look like us? Well, they dress just like us. I mean, they don't look like us. Like, all the guys in the European Surreal Panther have like really big uh, English. Features. Oh right, I know what you mean. No chin, bad teeth. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so what? What um, is there another record? You do you write songs when you're traveling? What? What is there a record in the in the in the works? Well, right now I'm I'm I have I'm really busy with like a lot of my uh, stuff that I do like things and stuff and uh, so yeah I mean I've been thinking about like that kind of stuff. It sounds fun, you know. Yeah, well I. Most of the time, because I do a, a lot of writing inside my own head, and then when I present it to the guys, it's usually not what they like. So but some of it was good. Remember that a song you came up with, Pole Sledger? Yeah, I thought everybody thought it was stupid. I thought it was bitching. Because <laughs> like, it's like a sledgehammer meeting a pole. <laughs> See, <laughs> sorry. You like it. You like I do. It. I like the idea. Yeah. Um, does, does the concept have a, a lifespan, or can you, can you imagine playing forever? Well, I mean, if you if you look at us right now, mm. I'm 53 years old. Mm. He's 48, 49. I'm up there, I don't like to do that. I'm like a tree that you can look in with roots. Oh, that by the way, I have to get my roots done. You do. <laughs> but you know, it's like saying, you know, Carbing. is pizza ever going to go Carbing. out of style? You know, mm-hmm. fuck no. Everyone loves pizza. Mm-hmm. Everyone loves beer still. How many people thought, oh, beer's going to be around forever? And it is, you know, like. We're like cock- cockroaches, man. We're never going to go away. Lots of songs in rock history are about someone specific, like My Michelle, for instance. Are uh, your songs like Fat Girl, are they about anyone specific? Have you? Yeah, fat are the girls that eat too much food and don't throw it up. <laughs> you mean target, you like a specific An individual? Fat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, actually, Styx wrote that about a chick that he used to fuck. Mm. And it, she almost looked like a guy. That's why in the video, the guy that's playing the fat girl, it really resembles what she looked like. Matter of fact, I think it was her. Does she know it's about her? Yeah. Uh, cool. Cool. I mean, that that girl enjoys the pleasures of being fat because mm. you know, fat girl. <laughs> fat girls, you know, if 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 you embrace your fatness, mm. it's bitching. Mm-hmm. But if you don't embrace you it, you have to own it. Yeah. I think it's they, hard, you know. If you're in denial about it, like, no, I'm skinny, yeah, and then yeah. some days I'm fat, you know, just like if you're like, I'm fucking fat. And I don't fit in a lot of clothes. I don't look good in some angles. But somebody's going to want to fuck me. <laughs> Is there any celebrities in Australia that you want up on stage and will wind up? Um, but any celebrities you would love to join you on stage? Uh, it'd be pretty cool to have a singer from NXS get up and join us. That would be like amazing because he would be like coming out of the dead and fucking performing. That would be, really that would be like the top story on CNN. For sure, because right. that, that doesn't happen to any bands over in Australia. No Denver one's ever something. done it. I mean, Bon Scott maybe as well. Yeah, but dude, yeah, I think uh, he's in hell. Yeah. Yeah. He probably, <laughs> like, yeah, dude. Once your once your contract in hell, you, you come yeah, back as like a serial killer or something. Right. Yeah, you mean shit. <laughs>